the proof is in the pudding, and the pudding in this case is a football. Booth, eat my goal! The goalie has got football pie all over his shirt. Bjorn, welcome to Eat My Goal. Would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself and your connection to Chippenham Town Football Club? Yes, um, most of the people who go, go, go and watch the, the football matches have seen me. I have been support them for 10 years now. I'm, uh, I live south of Norway and I've been to 35 games at uh, Hardenhush and 17 games away, I think. So I uh, love the club. Brilliant. And, and like I said to you, Bjorn, when, whenever you're there at the match, you always bring such joy and energy. You put a smile on a lot of people's faces. It's always great to see you there. Always appreciate you being there. Yeah. I, I, I used to say, um, um, Chippenham, it's by Ibiza. And they, the English, English people understand that. Like it. Well, you bring a bit of glamour anyway. You bring the glamour, mate, to it. I love it. So, are you ready to play Eat, Eat My Goal? I've got my yep. blue bag. So, okay, just randomly, five questions, five minutes. First question is number five, which is, um, if you won £10,000, what would you give away? No, uh, who would you give any of it away to? If I ha have to give it yeah. all, if you all away? £10,000, or... would you I... give any of it away and who to is the question. I, I will split them with Chippenham and my local club here, here where I live. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, have you seen Chippenham's new... You haven't seen a new bar area yet, have you? The, the new... Um... Yeah, I saw, saw them on, on Facebook, yes. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's really lovely inside, yeah. Yeah. So, so what league do your local team play in? Uh, fourth level. Okay, is that professional still or...? Uh, no, they're not professional and, and, I, and I didn't play this season. Right, okay, because of COVID and everything. Yeah. Okay, lovely. Okay, that's very generous of you, Bjorn, by the way. <laughs> Give it all away. <laughs> right, here we go. Next question is number nine. Number nine. And it is, um, it's a football question. Uh, what is your favourite football moment ever? Watching, playing, anything at all? Uh, in 1992, uh, I think it was 1992 or 1993, when Norway uh, won one against England at the old Wembley and uh, Norwegian Schettelrecht all scored from uh, 30 metres and e equalised, so it's 1-1. You, you were there, were you? Yeah, there were about 10,000 Norwegians, so it was wow. absolutely fantastic. Excellent. Have Norway qualified for this year's Euros? No, they lost in the playoffs. Oh, sorry. Such a shame. Yeah. yeah. That sounds very good. The old Wembley that was then with the Twin Towers and everything, I imagine. Yeah, it? yeah. I, and I also watched the FA Cup final when Liverpool lost to Wimbledon there, live. Oh, wow. That was 88. <laughs> 88, yeah. Yeah, I would have loved to have been there for that one. That's, who were you supporting, Liverpool or Wimbledon? Uh, I support Ar Arsenal in England, so of course I support Wimbledon that day. Yeah, of course. That was a, that was a memorable game, wasn't it? It's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Right, third question, Bjorn. Yep. Number eight. Okay, and it's um, it's a faith question. Which is more important to you? Do you think physical, emotional, spiritual? Which is the most important? Emotional, I think. Because. Because I'm an emotional guy. You are, especially when you see a Harden Shoes Park. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can, I can, I can drop it here for me when it's a happy moment, when I see a film, when I, I yeah. Is is that a Norwegian man's thing then? Is that a Norwegian man's trait to be emotional? I don't think so, but what I'm. Are you thinking, you know, Scandinavian. Oh, I can. <laughs> now, but the, the, you see me, you say I always bring smile because I like to be happy, but I'm full of emotion. Yeah, lovely. That's really great. It's good to hear. How about spiritually speaking then? Would you say you're a spiritual man at all in any sense? Believing? No, in, you know? no I'm not. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit special to talk to, to, talk to a, a chaplain and I say I'm an atheist and the same chaplain say the pub is very perfect now. So it's <laughs> No, no, that's fine. No, no, I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I think the chaplains in England are, is, is different than Norwegian. Okay. No, that's fine. Just pure out of interest. Not yeah. everyone has a faith. I, some people don't. Some I, people... I believe in people. Of course. Yeah. Here we go. Next one. 
You're a very deep man, Bjorn. Deep letter for you. <laughs> right, number 29. And it's a... Um, okay, it's... It's a football question. If you could give Mike Cook one piece of advice, what would it be? Uh, he said to me last time I was there, I think, or was the one of the first game. He said he he must build his own team, his own team, because he take over and it was another's team, and he said he had to build build his his team, but. Uh, I will say if you if you see on the English football when it was in the seventies eighties the best team they used few players mm -hmm. so I would say try to use same player same players if you can very good and if and if they are good enough of course of course yeah he's put a lot of guys in on loan this season I don't know if you've been able to follow it yeah and then last one was one from Oxford United this week from United Oxford United yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's in for just a month, isn't he? The young lad. Yeah, Jake Stevens or something, yeah. But Mike's done really well, isn't he? He's turning it, turning it around. Especially mm. at the end of the beginning of the last year, this time last year, we were really struggling. And he moved yeah, and last season when he had Scott Twine, he was very good and he scored a fabulous goal against Ipswich. Yeah, have you seen that? that, was, that was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like one of mine. No, it wasn't really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Do you ever play, did you ever play football, Bjorn? Did you ever? I'm uh, I, I played, yeah, when I was a little guy, of course, but I, when I played in the last level, last, uh, last level, I'm, I was a goalkeeper. Okay, very good. Yeah. Too lazy. <laughs> to run about too much. Yeah. <laughs> it's important. Goalkeepers are important. Right, number 28 is the last ball, and it is. Uh, what is your favourite smell and why? <laughs> My favorite smell. Hmm. Yeah. I, I love to cook and I love to eat. So it must be when the something from the kitchen is. It's a, it's a boring question, but it's no, no. honest. It's honest. Could be anything. Could be bread. Could be your wife's breaking wind. Who knows? Could be anything. Yeah. yeah. At the moment, I cook chicken, whole chicken. Right. Okay. Very good. So you better be better be a chef specialist. Oh, I love to cook. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> you know, that's the five questions. Thank you. Very, it's really great to get to know you a little bit. Next time I see you, God willing, next time I see you at Hunt Jewish Park, I'll stop and I'll buy you a pint in the new clubhouse, mate. My treat. Is that okay? And uh, we'll, we'll cheer on the Blue Army together. Yeah, I will love that. And that, that will be the first time our, our, our chaplain has bought, bought something from me in the bar and the pub. So that will be nice. <laughs> it's probably the first time a chaplain's bought anybody anything. So Yeah. <laughs> So all, all the very best to you, Bjorn. Have a good evening. Thank you for uh, thank you for playing Eat My Gold. And it's really, really lovely to meet you. And thank you for your time. Thank you. Take care. All the best to you. Eat my gold. Yeah. And another.